Hi Gemini, this is your July 18th through July 24th weekly tarot reading. I do five separate spreads in my weekly readings. Well, I have a spread on new love, a separate spread on love in an existing relationship or marriage. I'll do an X spread. We'll talk about your work, your business and your finances and we'll see what you're not expecting to happen this week. Please like, share and subscribe to support this channel. This first spread is a new love this week. We have the Five of Pentacles clarified by the Fool. We have the Sun. We have uh, the Ace of Pentacles clarified by the Star. In the potential outcome, we have the Knight of Wands with the Eight of Wands and the Two of Cups. And we also have the Lovers on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a uh, Leo or a fellow Air Sign, Gemini, Libra, or another Aquarius. Right off the bat, you know what it feels like? You know how it feels, Gemini, by looking at this spread? It feels like two soulmates have finally found each other. Right? It, that's what it feels like. And I'm actually considering naming this, <laughs> reading this this way. Two soulmates finally found each other. Right? Uh, this person is at least your soulmate. They, they could be more than just your soulmate. It all depends on what you believe in. Right? Um, yeah, let's talk about this from the beginning, right? The Five of Pentacles, the first card that came out, this is a card of somebody feeling left out in the cold, feeling miserable, feeling lonely, feeling lost, right? And that's the way you're probably feeling. Um, and uh, it kind of feels like the person who is um, entering your life, that's the way they're feeling as well, right? Because there is uh, two people in the Five of Pentacles. And um, one of those people represents you and the other person and the other person in the Five of Pentacles is the person entering your life. So this is you just kind of feeling lost, feeling lonely without your soulmate. You could be 20 years old, you could be 50 years old. It doesn't matter. You could be in your 40s like me, <laughs> Gemini. Anyway, um, the good news is that, um, like I said, you have finally found each other. The Five of Pentacles was clarified by the Fool. The Fool is a card of taking a leap of faith because that feels like this is the right thing to do, right, with the full card. You're not even going to think twice. You're just going to go for it because you have finally found your soulmate. And I know I already said it five times. I'm not going to, I'm, I'm going to repeat it a couple of more times, right? Um, the very next card that came out is the sun, right? This is such an opposite energy from the five of pentacles. With the five of pentacles, we're sad and lonely. With the sun, we're the happiest people on earth or in the universe, <laughs> right? The Sun is the personal Leo card, by the way. You could be dealing with a Leo, but the Sun is a, a, the happiest card in the deck. It's a major arcana card, and that's the very next card that came out. Such in the, such in the big change, major change, right? This, with the Sun card, we always feel like we're on top of the world, right? And whenever the Fool and the Sun cards come out in the same spread, I always point out the similarities between those two cards. You see, in the uh, right upper corner of the Fool card, there is the Sun, right? Then we have the actual Sun card with the Sun in it, and uh, the gesture of the person in the Fool card and the kid uh, riding the horse in the Sun card, to me personally, they look identical. Both of them have their arms spread out and to me personally this is a gesture of a very happy individual. And um, just to make it even better, the next card I came out is the Ace of Pentacles. The Ace of Pentacles is a golden opportunity. It often comes through as a proposal. I don't know if you're going to be proposed to or you're going to propose uh, this week, but uh, potentially you can definitely, it could definitely be uh, your story. Uh, the Ace of Pentacles to me personally is the Ace of All Aces. I don't mean to belittle the other Aces, but the Ace of Pentacles is like a package. It's like a bundle. All Aces combined into one. This Ace always comes from somebody who is ready to start a family, ready to uh, get serious, right? This is a golden opportunity. It's, it's called that way for a reason. It's called um, I mean, it's clarified by the star. The star is, a, is the personal Aquarius card. You could be dealing with an Aquarius. Or the star is a wish come true card. This is something people usually wish for or hope for for a very long time. So again, you've been lonely without your soulmate and now you have finally found them. <laughs> In, on the bottom of the deck we have the lover's card. The lover's is your personal card, Gemini. Right? And it's always a good sign to have your card in your own reading. You could be dealing with another Gemini. But the thing about the Lover's card, in my opinion, and it's the best card when it comes to a love connection between two people. 
right? It's a soulmate card. <laughs> it's a it's a twin flame connection card if you believe in twin flames. And the lovers could simply be the lover of your life card. It's also a card of a choice, but to be honest with you, I don't really see anybody hesitating. Quite the opposite. Well, granted, we all choose to enter relationships, but again, in this case, nobody's thinking twice. Nobody's dragging their feet. Right. Um, also, in my opinion, the only other card that comes close to the Lovers card is the Two of Cups. And see what we got right next to it? The last card in the potential outcome is the Two of Cups. So you got both Soulmate cards. There's another Soulmate card in the Tarot deck, but these are the primary ones, in my opinion. The Two of Cups is a card of uh, unconditional love. It's a card of two people feeling the same way towards one another. And uh, the, the two cards that precede that in the potential outcome are the Knight of Swords and uh, the Eight of Wands. The Knight of Swords is the fastest knight out of all four knights and the Eight of Wands is one of the fastest cards in the deck. So the two of you could be traveling together. Um, the two of you are just, it's just going to take off like a rocket. The Eight of Wands, uh, my favorite interpretation of the Eight of Wands is the Cupid's Arrows. So the Cupid has finally found both of you, the, the two lost soulmates and and they're striking, the, the, the cubit is striking both of you concurrently, right? And therefore, you're just gonna move forward and never look back. You're gonna ride into the sunset and never come back. <laughs> the Knight of Swords, by the way, could be a fellow uh, air sign you're dealing with, another Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. But uh, such an amazing, beautiful story, Gemini. You have finally found your soulmate. Congratulations. Gemini, if you'd like to see the extended for this new love spread, the link is in the description box down below. In the extended, I'll do two or three more spreads, depending on how the situation plays out and unfolds and pans out. <laughs> we'll take a look at what to expect between you and this person moving forward, and we'll get you an advice for this whole situation. Gemini, if you are already married or if you're in a relationship, this spread is for you. We have the Ten of Pentacles, we have the Six of Pentacles, we have the Three of Cups, clarified by the Chariot, and uh, we, also have the, we also have the Wheel of Fortune on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Cancer or pretty much any Zodiac sign. You know, another Zodiac sign had a very similar reading for the um, couples, for the married spread. What's happening here, um, the thing is the Chariot card, right? Clarifying the Three of Cups. The Three of Cups is a card of a celebration in this case. So the chariot, um, if you have a cancer in your family or a close friend is a cancer, you could be going to their birthday party because uh, we're wrapping up cancer birthday season. So perhaps uh, the last of them <laughs> celebrating this week and uh, you're going to that birthday party, right? Um, for others of you, you could be going on a family trip, right? The chariot could be you guys are going somewhere and uh, you feel great about it. Right, um, or the chariot is a new car you're purchasing, because the chariot could be a vehicle, and as a result of that, you're celebrating because now your family have a has a new shiny car, <laughs> or a bus, or an SUV, whatever, right? Or um, a convertible. I don't know. Anyway, um, that's what those two cards mean, right? The three of cups with the chariot. Three scenarios, and the, every, all other cards pretty much revolve around those two cards, right? The Ten of Pentacles is a card of a family, or this is a card of finances, right? Then we have the Six of Pentacles right next to it. It could be you shelling out some money for the gift, for the cancer, or for that uh, trip you want to go on, or you perhaps are paying for the car, right? And uh, the Wheel of Fortune is either another travel card or the Wheel of Fortune is uh, a new cycle, right? If you purchase a new car, it's a new cycle for your family. If uh, you have a cancer whose birthday you are going to, it's a new cycle for that person. All right, so one of those three scenarios. Let's see if anybody comes back from the past for you, Gemini, this week. Keep in mind, it could be somebody from a couple of months ago, a year ago, or a couple of years ago, so it doesn't have to be the most recent ex. We have the Two of Pentacles, we have the Knight of Pentacles, clarified by the Seven of Swords and the Five of Wands. We have the Three of Pentacles, and we also have the Queen of Swords on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with an Earth sign towards Virgo, Capricorn, or any Zodiac sign. The Queen of Swords on the bottom of the deck, that would be you. And when I saw the Two of Pentacles, the first card I came out, I got a little suspicious. Uh, without, the, without clarifying the Knight of Swords, it would have looked really good. And I'm glad I clarified that Knight of Pentacles. 
Um, and we got the Seven of Swords with the 501. So that is the reason or that is the true identity of the person coming back to you. For some of you, it's possible they are running away from their existing uh, boyfriend or girlfriend or a significant other and they may lie to you about it. Perhaps they got into a major fight or they just broke up and they're going to run to you, you know. But uh, they could still be in love with the other person. Whatever this person deal is, they're definitely up to no good. All right, the Knight of Pentacles could be an Earth sign towards Virgo Capricorn or the Knight of Pentacles is uh, an offer and it will look good on paper right they may promise you the world they may even throw money at the problem so to speak but the seven of swords is still a seven of swords it's a card of a cheater it's a card of a deception it's a card of somebody who sneaks around right perhaps this person like i said is running away from their boyfriend their girlfriend and with the two of pentacles the first guy that came out they looked through their book and uh, they looked at all those names of their exes and they chose you to run back to because you because of your hospitality Gemini alright so be very careful ask questions do your research ask around find out what happened okay something is tough this person is not telling you the whole truth you know, it could be something small, something innocent, but they're definitely not telling you the whole story. Okay, or I don't know. If I were you, I would uh, I would not jump head first with this person, Gemini. All right, cool. Let's talk about your work, your business, and your finances, uh, Gemini. This week, uh, we have the Two of Ones, we have the Knight of Ones, we have the Page of Ones, clarified by the Empress. And we also have the Nine of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Fire sign, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, or any Zodiac sign. I can interpret this spread uh, a couple of different ways, but they're kind of similar. In scenario number one, somebody's got a bright idea, and they're going to reach out to you asking for your advice, asking to, for you to look it over, to see if this is something good, if you will change anything, because you are a figure of authority to this person, because they respect you. Right? In scenario number two, uh, they're going to be reaching out to you because they also have a bright idea, because they also have something hot, and they want you on board. Right? And again, you are still a figure of authority for them, and perhaps they think that uh, you, can, you and them can do business together because you are a very respectful, very wise, very experienced individual. You can make this happen. They need somebody to push it through to make sure it uh, succeeds. I hope that makes sense. The thing about you, Gemini, <laughs> the Knight of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck is often called the Empress of the Minor Arcana cards and then we have the actual Empress here. Both of those cards represent you. You are the figure of authority to this person. Definitely. Right? And that's why you're there reaching out to you. It's just that for some of you, they just want your stamp of approval or they want you to, to review their business plan or something. Um, for others of you, they want you on board. They really want you on board because they could also always use your wisdom, your experience, your expertise, your connections. All right? So, yeah, those are the two um, scenarios I see here. Let's see what you're not expecting to happen, Gemini, this week. Uh, we have the Three of Pentacles, we have the Knight of Pentacles, qualified by the Tower and Judgment. Uh, we have uh, the Nine of Swords, qualified by the Five of Swords, and we also have the Three of Swords on the bottom of the deck. This is always identical to the X spread I did for you a few minutes ago. We have a couple of repeat cards, the Three of Pentacles with the Knight of Pentacles, and again, I clarified the Knight of Pentacles, we got the Tower and Judgment. Judgment is a car card of somebody coming back from the past, and the Tower is uh, something that happened in their life. Something went, came crashing, crumbling to the ground. Right, the Three of Swords on the bottom of the deck is a card of a broken heart. Um, and then we also have the Nine of Swords clarified by the Five of Swords. So, yeah, be very careful, Gemini, with this person. It kind of reminds me of my Beware readings I do once a month. you got to be aware of uh, this person's true intentions as to why they're coming back to you. Okay? They're not telling you the whole truth. 
they're not. Even if they tell you, oh, you know, everything just fell apart and uh, I really love you, I realized you were always there for me, you always took care of me. No, 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 no. Well, what they're saying is probably tr true, You're all, you always took care of them, but they're, that's not why they're coming back to you. They're coming back so they want to take, so they could take advantage of you, of uh, how nice you are, of your hospitality, and once they fix their life, they just need. Um, all right, so be be beware of this person. Be very careful of the person coming back from the past this week, Gemini. All right, so yeah, that's what I have for you for this reading. Um, if this video resonates with you, please like it, please also share and subscribe, and other than that, Gemini, have an amazing week. And there you have it. This was your tarot reading for this time period. I hope it resonated with you and helps you live a better life one way or the other. Thank you for watching, sharing, and subscribing.